Hello guys, my name is Ksenia Gulko and I'm a fashion blogger from the Namu blog. And first of all, I want to say sorry because there were no videos for such a long period and really sorry, um, that's not something that you can forgive, but I will try to make everything better. So I'm back with the videos, I'm back with talking about Tumblr, about health, about lapis lazuli, about other stuff. So I'm happy that you're watching this video, I'm happy that you're still with me, that you are waiting for us and let's maybe start. So if you have clicked on this video, probably you're interested in Umber Jolie and how to take care of it, how to make it beautiful and bright and shiny for a long period. And today I will tell you some tips on how to do this. A little story to start. When I tell people that my iPhone camera is not so good as just two years ago, they are just saying what, uh, what does it mean, how it could be, and really guys, everything in this world, it depends on time. So the same thing is with Umber, and the same thing about everything in your life. Everything changes, even if it is like static or something like that. If someone tells you that he or she would love you forever, it's not really truth. Sorry. But in case of Umber, you know, it would not go somewhere or it would not say that you're fired, so it would not say that your dreams will not come true. But it can become really dull during the time of its existence. So today I want to tell you how to avoid this thing and also how to make Umber Jolie shiny and bright forever. The first tip that you should do for everything in your wardrobe and in your life is just to take, you know, a box. In my case, Jolie casket and just to keep your umber there. Just to make it safe and not to lose it really because I have like two pieces of umber and I was making yesterday a video where I was showing my umber bracelet but the thing that I'm not putting jelly and also other stuff on the same place, I have lost it somewhere in my room. So today is only two pieces of umber. Umber could be really damaged or just broken with anything. Yes, I'm not telling that you, I don't know, can just broke it with your hands. No, of course, it's a piece of stone. But at least try to keep it in a special place for it not to worry that something would fall on it because it's really something that when you just put something on your table and there are then other things and other and other and everything on your table and then it falls on your floor and then someone just comes or even you just come to your room just put your leg and understand that that noise meant that something really important was lost forever. So China just try to be very careful. Despite the fact that umber is really stone, it is very fragile and soft mineral. So it is better to keep it in a separate box, you know, there are lots of some small jewelry boxes, or just to put it in some a uh, velvet thing, uh, velvet textile or something like that and put it together with others. It is because it could be really damaged with other jewelry, especially if you are really trendy fashionista and you have some punk style jewelry, some studs, spikes and all of that stuff. So try to understand that it has very gentle so like all of us. If your umber piece is very light in its colors, so it's like very very pale yellow or green, it's better not to keep it uh, together with some dark natural stones because it would really darken from its neighborhood. And 
even if you have some dark red or even almost black umber piece, try to avoid these things as well. And really, um, if you want to darken it, why not? Just <laughs> try it and uh, tell me in comments what has happened with it. It is also about really keeping it in one place and not leaving it on some, like, you know, cold windsills during winter or putting it on the windsill when it's a really hot summer or putting it um, near the conditioner or heaters or something like that. Because gentle thing and to keep it beautiful forever you need to understand that you should be very very careful with it so please don't just go to sauna with it or i don't know take some baths with it or even cook or go outside um, with a number pattern when it's really frosty outside and really please stay at home when it's too cold or too hot because Oh my god, I just hate such disgusting days, you know, in the middle of summer or in the middle of winter because right now we have very cold winter time. It's really minus, I don't know, 15 degrees, everything is in snow. Yes, of course, it's sunny, it's beautiful, but at least I'm sitting at home, not going anywhere because I'm ill as well. So that's a pity. So, guys, just understand that Umber is something that really loves the same temperature as you do. Because I think that no one in this world really loves very hot or very cold seasons. So be just understand that your Charlie is like you. So if you want to make Umber, you know, work really with all these healing magical properties, to be beautiful, to attract people to you with it, just just take care of it as you wanted someone to take care of you. I don't know what are you doing in your like working time, who are you? By the way, you can tell me, so that's really interesting that what people are connected with this summer topic so you can write it below in comments so i am a fashion blogger mostly of my working time i'm just sitting and watching my computer something like that so um but if your work is connected with really some physical activity or if you are doing some sports or even you know like enormous cleaning or some gardening please just put off your jewelry any jewelry not only amber because i was telling you that amber it has the special energy and it is getting everything from you so when you're wearing amber try also not to give it to some other people because it's your stone and when you're doing some physical activities and usually it really can it is really connected with some stress amber is taking all of that stuff into it so even in a such situation even from this point do not wear jolly while doing some physical activities. Of course, this rule is also something that I thought everyone just understand. It's like, you know, putting some perfume on your hair because or putting some perfume on your clothes. Perfume is something that you really put on your body. And uh, what's the reason to make your amber or other jewelry to smell like a perfume? It's quite strange and you should really understand that it could be damaged with a little drops even. So please try not to do this. By the way, um, <laughs> one really useful tip on how to wear perfume. I know that that's not, that is out of topic, but at least I was happy when I just knew it. So. Um, there is like rules from the perfumers where to put perfume, it's like here, and here, and here. 
So, and one more tip, you know, to make your uh, perfume work longer. It's like to put before using your perfume on all of these sides where I told you to put your perfume a bit of um, you know this transparent lipstick something that we use just for uh, winter time you know not doing makeup not something red but something that has no shade to put before putting uh, the perfume and of course it should not be something like a strawberry or I don't know, uh, something like basil or mint lipstick because it should have no other smells so that would make really your perfume um, work longer and also you know that lots of perfumes and most of all they have alcohol so it is better to put something you know like even a cream uh, not to make your skin be dried, over dried or you can use oily perfumes. But because of my experience, I can say that alcohol perfumes are much more better than oily ones because they are working longer. And we always want our perfumes to work all day, like our makeup to work all day, like our Umber Jolly to work all day with all this healing, magical and, you know, properties of luck. Do not put amber in the fridge. Yes, it's quite strange. The rule is about, you know, not touching your amber jelly or amber stones with the dirty hands and especially after, you know, taking food. So this oil bit really can damage amber jelly and uh, it could really damage everything. So just wash your hands after you have had something and uh, this this works with everything. Don't touch your face with the dirty hands, don't touch your clothes with the dirty hands. Um, try to use, you know, some sprays or just water with soap. It is so easy! The next tip is quite curious because I told you that you need to put your umber stone in the dark jewelry box and do not allow it to meet the sunshine, but at least. On the other hand, Amber needs this solar energy to keep bright and shiny. Other people are also saying that when Amber doesn't meet sun from time to time, uh, it makes it, you know, not so magical and not so powerful in case of everything it can do. Uh, so. You can, by the way, watch my video about Umber healing properties, I think it could be interesting for you. But at least, I think that, um, you know, people who are saying that Umber should be walked under the sunshine, we are wearing Umber, so it's better to keep it in a dark box, but uh, it will need the sunshine just when you go out with it and so that's how it would get more solar energy to be magical. Just imagine how strange it would be if you are eating every day from the same plate and drinking your coffee or tea every day from the same cup and really do not clean it. Disgusting, yep. When some girls are telling me that they are not cleaning their makeup tools after every makeup or even after every second makeup, I feel, oh my god, disgusting. Maybe you are not really even washing your hands, your face or your clothing. That's the same thing with every gentle stuff in our life. Amber is gentle, so that means that after every time you are wearing it, and especially if you are wearing it mostly outside, if there was a very sunny or windy day, just come home, just take a piece of amber, maybe the velvet textile, by the way, my, my clothing has a velvet textile, and try to clean it very gently with this velvet textile. 
and that's the thing that would really help you to keep it bright and shiny so it would really help you to avoid it becoming dull or damaging to soapy or something like that if you think that you need some more aggressive cleaning just put it in the water and try to clean there there are lots of jewelers who really advise to use the soapy water some of them advise not to do this so um, you know like taking every opinion into account i will say that try to use only water and uh, not more than 10 minutes amber just as circus or pearl they are really afraid of aggressive chemicals they could really become covered with some white coating after like very aggressive chemical cleaning so be very careful with it and try to use just soft textiles or just water if you want to polish your umber just take a bit of olive or almond oil just put it on your umber piece then wrap it in some soft and probably you have understood better well-wet cloth and polish that is not harmful that will not damage it and that would make it really more bright talking more about cleaning umber with just water you need to consider that this water should not be hot uh, water should not be hot just in any case when you're washing your hair when you're washing your face taking a shower if you want to keep beautiful and have no wrinkles that also works with umber just warm or even cold water just soft fabric and that's all try to avoid aggressive chemicals even if you think they are not aggressive they are totally aggressive you just don't know it really they are killing you very very slowly it's a joke sorry so just clean it with these two things water and the soft textile yes of course if there are some uh, places you need to clean better i don't know how you just got that spots of and the dirt and that's really strange but at least you will just clean your umber jolly from the aggressive bad and evil energy it is taking into it while protecting you from it so that's a good stuff by the way there is also some very aggressive and something that i will not really try a method of cleaning umber and that is cleaning umber with ammonia uh, it's like you know taking umber putting it in a liquid ammonia for some time and then cleaning it with water um, what can i say you see that i have very 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 light colored blonde hair and uh, that is not really the color i was that I was trying to make uh, it is not so bright and all of that stuff and that's all is because I'm making it blonde without ammonia I'm so much afraid of ammonia and I understand that my hair would grow and I would just cut every dead part of my hair every damaged part of my hair but at least um, it would grow and I can have you know totally healthy but not blonde hair in some years after cutting all of that stuff so umber is something that could not you know like die and burn again so i don't know what what people should do with their umber to clean it when then with ammonia i will not advise you to do this i just tell you that there is also such way to clean it but let's just forget that I was telling it to you. People are extremely in love and in search for brightness. People want to make their hair bright, their skin bright, their eyes bright, their teeth bright and of course to make their umber bright because I told you that it depends on time it exists and it becomes not so bright and there is one way to make it shine again and that's really <laughs> very funny and 
really very very easy way so what you need to do you need to take the piece of soft flannel to put on it a bit of paraffin and a bit of tooth powder not pasta this is important and to make a, like you know messy mess from it then to put the amber piece in this house and just to polish it with it. So people are saying that it really makes um, umber a bit brighter and I can't really check it because my stones are quite, you know, they are quite new and so that they are enough bright but maybe, maybe in some time I will try it and tell you about this. So guys, that's all. That are the most important tips and I think this video was quite useful and informative. I want to repeat three main things that we need to remember. Care your umber jewelry properly in a proper place, in a proper time. Wear it carefully. Just try to care of it, just like you want it to care of you. And of course, clean it properly and regularly that is something really important guys because we care of our beauty we care of our homes we care about everything almost everything in our lives but when it comes to jewelry and especially umber jewelry or jewelry that we believe it makes us healthier or successful Surely that make us happy, beautiful, confident. You need to understand that this jewelry has its age as well as you. And it also need care as well as you. So please just take care of your umber, take care of you. Take care of everything that surrounds you and that would make our world better thank you for watching this video guys i'm happy that you're with me that that i'm back and that we are keep talking about umber